This is the story of the Red Shoes. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Karen who lived in a small village with her mother. They were so poor that Karen didn't even own a pair of shoes, and she had to go around barefoot until the village shoemaker made her a pair of sandals out of some leftover strips of red cloth. One day, Karen's mother became very ill and died, leaving her little daughter all alone in the world. But on a bright morning soon after that, one of the town's rich old ladies rode by Karen's house in her handsome carriage and saw the unhappy little girl sitting on the doorstep, crying bitterly. The old lady stopped and spoke to Karen, and when she heard what had happened to the poor child, she offered to look after her. So the kind old lady brought Karen to her home, dressed her in good clothes, and sent her to school. Of course, Karen was thankful for such good fortune, but one thing made her unhappy. The old lady didn't like red shoes. She had long since thrown away the red cloth sandals the village shoemaker had sewn. Some time later, the princess was taking a journey through the country. When she passed through the village where Karen lived, the people crowded around her. Karen especially noticed the red leather shoes the princess was wearing. These are just about the most beautiful red shoes I've ever seen, thought Karen. Oh, if only I could have such shoes to wear to church on Sunday. Now Karen longed so much for red shoes that when the old lady, whose eyesight was very bad, took her to buy new shoes, Karen chose a shining pair of red ones, very much like the princesses, and told the old lady they were black. Next Sunday in church, Karen thought of nothing but the lovely red shoes on her tiny feet. While everyone sang hymns, she seemed to see the dainty slippers floating before her eyes. Karen was invited to a grand ball in the town. She knew very well it was unwise to go to the ball since the old lady who had been so kind was very ill and needed the little girl to help nurse her back to health. But Karen couldn't resist the chance to wear her beautiful red shoes. So she went to the ball and when she began to dance, everyone said, what pretty dancing shoes. Then a strange thing happened. Karen couldn't stop dancing. As if the shoes had suddenly taken on some magical power, they danced her down the stairs, through the streets, and out of the town gate. Away she danced, and away she had to dance, into the forest. Little Karen was terribly frightened and tried to throw off the red shoes, but they stuck fast to her feet. Over the fields and meadows, all through the night she danced, until she came into a churchyard. There stood an angel with long white robes. You shall dance in your red shoes till you are pale and cold. But Karen couldn't stand still long enough to hear the rest of the angel's words, for away the poor little girl danced over the roadways, back into the woods. There she spied a small hut among the huge trees. Luckily, her magic red shoes danced her up to the door. She knocked on it. A tall, smiling woodsman opened it, and Karen, unable to move anymore, fell on the ground. The woodsman carried her inside and put her on a cot. Karen looked down at her feet, which had swelled to five times their size and seemed to be getting bigger and bigger. But as she told her sad story to the woodsman, the red shoes, which no longer fitted her, began to split, and pretty soon, they fell right off. After Karen rested a while, the woodsman put her in his cart and took her back to the old lady's house. The old lady had completely recovered. Karen asked her forgiveness for telling an untruth and leaving her all because of a pair of red shoes. 
The old lady forgave the little girl, and next Sunday they went to church together. And as Karen joyfully sang the hymns with the rest of the townspeople, she seemed to see the white-robed angel smiling at her, knowing Karen had learned that kindness and love are far more precious possessions than a pair of red shoes.